Okay everyone, to change the autofocus modes on the Canon 80D, it's quite easy. Now you have two ways of doing this. You can press the Q button and go over and tap, you know, AF selection. And you can have one shot AI focus or AI servo. Okay. And of course you can move with the directional pad as well to choose which one you want. Since I mostly use one shot, I am going to leave it in one shot. Now you can either press the menu button to return, you can press set to return, or you can just press the little button on the screen and it will return you also. Okay. Now that's how to change the AF modes. Now there's another button you can press to change the uh, focus points on the EOS 80D. Now the EIS 80D has 45 focus points. So you can press, the easiest way is to press the AF point selection button on top of your camera. Okay. Once we've got that up, you have different ways of changing it. Now, you have different modes you can select. You can have single point. You can have multiple points. It gives you a little cluster of uh, AF points to choose from. You have zones. You can choose the zones, or you can press and have it automatically select any of the 45 points automatically. Okay, now if it waits a few moments, you keep noticing it goes back to the regular menu screen. It does that automatically. Okay, now I keep pressing the AF point button, you keep pressing it, it automatically switches between these two, kind of rotates through them. Now let's go over here to manual selection. Now you can select any of the AF points by using your directional pad. Of course, you can also use your finger, but I find the finger more cumbersome. It's easier just to use the directional pad. Okay, now you can use the wheel here to go up or down, or the wheel on top next to your shutter button to go left or right. But like I said, I prefer the, the uh, directional pad. Of course, anytime you press set, it automatically goes back. Okay, now delete this screen, you can just let it automatically close on its own. Or just simply hit the shutter button on top and automatically go back itself. Now, of course, if you want to press the finger on top, you could. This works great if you want to have like change your AF points, clusters. Like I said, I don't like the finger too much. Now you can move it around. And of course, set moves them back. And of course, you press zone here. It's really great too. So if you want to you'll shoot only on one third of the image, you can use that one on, uh, in the center of the image or left of the image. And of course, if you st stand the camera up portrait mode, that should be up there so you can focus more in on the face, which is really good in case the camera has trouble picking up something else that might be on the ground and you want to focus more where the face will be in the screen. You can use that mode. Okay. Now the other um, form of uh, autofocus is in live view. Okay. Now live view has a few options here. We press Q, and we have AF modes for it. Now we have AF mode has facial tracking. Then we have AF mode has a multi flex zone, and we have our single point. Of course, that one will choose anything across the screen this one's more better for tracking uh, people or especially faces I love this in portrait mode and of course that one's single if you want to compose you know like a landscape you can use it hit set to choose it and we can take our little focus point anywhere on the screen now mine's acting crazy because I have my lens cap on so <laughs> it doesn't help you see the screen better Okay, like I said, hit the key button, choose it there, facial tracking, hit set, you're good to go. And if the face happens to pop up, it'll track it just as well. Well, that's how to change the AF modes and AF point selection on the Canon EIS 80D. So I hope everybody found this video helpful. If you do, how about hitting the thumbs up button? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.